everybody! Today I'm going to show you how you can line your dogs up in a row for their picture or for a video or to have a selfie with you without having to physically manipulate and push and shove your dog. Now I've seen even the most positive trainer in the rush to get a picture with their dog pushing and shoving their dog and it's simply not necessary. There's a much faster way to get your dog lined up and it's very simple. It's teaching the obedience left hand finish and using that cue to get your dog into the position next to you on your left or right, maybe between your legs, or next to another dog. Are you ready, Wishy? So it's a very simple trick to train. If you already have a, a verbal cue for a left hand finish, you can start using that and retrain it with other dogs. Now the very important thing is, though, is that when you're working with multiple dogs, you want to make sure that they're comfortable being near each other before you lure them into each other's space. Now, if you're not sure if your dog's comfortable with each other or comfortable taking food, toys, or having attention from you while next to each other, you want to seek advice from a professional trainer to make sure you're not going to cause a dog fight by, by pushing your dogs into a space that they're uncomfortable being in. Now, my dogs have worked for, well, for Wish, since she was a puppy, to be comfortable around my other dogs. And warning signs that you can tell that your dogs are feeling uncomfortable is that when they're near each other, they might be putting their ears back or putting their ears in a different position than when they're normally relaxed or perky when they're expecting a treat. You can tell if they're shifting their eyes around, if they're blinking a lot, if they are panting and then suddenly they stop panting, if they get very stiff, if they're leaning away from each other, or if they're constantly licking their lips. Are you ready? So you'll see some mild signs of discomfort if you haven't trained this before and the key is, is keeping enough distance from the dogs until they're comfortable to be near each other. But this is a much better technique than forcefully manipulating them into positions if you're going to be taking pictures of them. Are you ready? Go again. Good job. So you can use luring or simply hand targeting and you're going to lure your dog far behind you as far as you can reach, click and treat, and then lure them back and click when their butt lines up with your side and then lure them to sit. Good. So once they've got that, those three behaviors down, you can turn it into a behavior chain where you lure them behind you, pull them forwards, and then lure them up to sit like that. Good. And it will take some training to get them lined up and perfect. So every time you lure your dog, you want to make sure to give them the treat because they are following the lure even if they're not straight. So if their butt's sticking out to the side, give them the treat and then the next time figure out how to get their butt straight. Maybe you might need to lure your dog behind you first and then pull them forwards to get them to sit like that. Good job. Now to line up some dogs. Wish me. Swing. Good. Splash me. Come forward. Sit. Good. Tuck me. Swing. Good. Good job. Good job. Keep up me. Swing. Sit. Good. Nice work. Wait there, okay? Wait there. Are you ready? Another technique for lining up your dogs is getting further away from the camera, walking towards it till your dogs are straight, cueing them to sit by lifting up the treat. Wish sit. Good. Wait. Stepping away from them. Wait there, guys. And then you have two dogs pretty much lined up. Are you ready? Can you sit pretty? Okay. Good. Ready? Go, Hugs. Good. 